All right guys, so if you followed us along, one of our last videos we installed the Eventuri cold air intake. Um, we complemented it with the NV Specialties uh, radiator stay cover with the fuse box and we actually put the ME Specialties cover on as we're still waiting for the other ones to come in. Uh, it complements it really well, but today's video we want to actually install the black line cap set. Um, it's going to consist of the washer fluid cap, this one, this one here, uh, this one, the brake reservoir. So guys, let's get to transforming. Let's transform it from this to this. So guys, this is provided in two separate part numbers. You got the small box here, which is gonna be your billet fluid washer cap, and it comes in a red, and then you got the full set. Okay, so let's get to installing this. Most of this stuff's pretty self-explanatory, but there are some key things I'm gonna point out to you, but you should reference this QR code if you need to, but I will also tell you all the key steps that you need to do for the installation. Uh, some of the stuff is very important, like shimming the oil cap itself. The other part is how to actually remove the O-ring uh, for this piece here. So let's get to it and we'll go from there. So this piece is actually separate. This is a separate part number you actually would buy and it's in its own separate little box. So this is just the uh, washer fluid cap. And to remove that, you just wanna open this up and slide this guy out. And you don't do anything else with this. You just uh, save this for later. And you just wanna put this in here. It's kind of pressure fit. This uh, piece already comes with the O-ring. There's really not much to it. So it's very, very simple. And that's it right there. Okay, so next let's move over to this. We got an overflow overflow and we have the actual radiator cap here. All right, so on this, you wanna be very careful. This, uh, you wanna work on it with the car is cool. You already, we already have the tape all um, already done on the back side of this unit. All you're gonna do is you, you don't even have to take this actually off, but you do need to line this up. See, I already put my tape on. I'm just gonna get my finger in here and pull this tape back. You wanna clean the surface, which we've already have done. You wanna line it up with the groove so it won't go this way. And you wanna just drop that thing in place right there. That's it. And as you can see, now when I remove this cap, the whole thing comes off. So we don't need to change any of the O-rings or anything on that. And it lines itself back up and clicks in place perfectly. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna do this. And again, you wanna make sure that this is not hot. One secret is you wanna actually relieve the pressure from here. If your car has been warm and if this is full all the way up to the top, you wanna to get this actually down. So to do that, you just need to relieve pressure here. So to do this, you're gonna need a six Allen key and you wanna remove this. And we've done one for a customer before, so we've already, we've already dealt with the experience where this was actually full. And again, like just open that up so it drops down. So the one thing we gotta do with this is we need to remove this O-ring. So I'm just gonna try to get that off with my finger here. So you wanna be really careful with this, but I'm gonna actually use a pick tool. Um, it's really hard to do with your fingernail. And you just wanna get around and open that up. And just come back with this one. Put this on and stretch it over. I kind of just want to do that to make sure it's round and not kinked in any way. And then you're just going to ultimately put this back in place here. And they provide this super cool tool. This is actually, uh, you can look it up, but this is a carbon composite piece. So you don't damage any of the unit itself. But once I get this nice and tight, my finger, I can actually take this, put it on here and get it tight like that. So there's that piece there. So this is the same concept as the uh, radiator piece. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna pull this out, and there is a very special piece to this. There's one that's a, that's a square to it. It's right there. It's got the arrow on it right there. And the same thing on this side. So when this one goes in place, it's just gonna fit just like that. It will not fit any other way. So we're gonna drop that in place right back there. So off camera, I already put my tape on. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna put this back in place here. Get that tight, and that's it. So the um, the brake fluid actually points to the for forward with the arrow pointing that way. All right, so let's get to the last one in the engine bay. We're gonna remove the oil cap. Um, we've already pre-done this. So let me show you what we did here already. So we've already taken off of the oil cap itself, the ring. So this is on the factory piece. You just pull it off like this. And then in here, these are spacers, okay? You're gonna see these include in your kit. You're gonna wonder what these are for. And that's why I'm here to help you guys. So we put three in here, which is what the instructions actually call for. And there's actually more if you need to. I'm gonna put one more in just to kind of show you guys how it looks. We just drop that thing in there. And we take this and put this back on here. And then we're just gonna simply take this and drop it in place here. So I actually like how that is with uh, four rings on it. Get the black line straight just like this and the G there. And if you remember, this is exactly how it was before. So it was this way, but you can use those adjustments if you wanna have it this way, you can actually do that as well too. Um, so that finishes up the engine bay. This, this looks a lot better. So we got one more thing from, this is the actual gas cap itself. We're gonna put some tape on here, inside here, on the outside here. 
and we're just gonna press that on. We're gonna clean the surface and everything. Let's get into it. So this is really simple. We're just gonna take this and we're just gonna pop that on and we're gonna press it in with the tape. And that's it. So now when you take your gas cap off, everything's perfect. And as you know, you always put your gas cap right there. And you set that in place right there. So hopefully you guys really like this product. It's very simple to do. It's uh, really easy to dress up the engine bay a little bit. So please give us some comments below. All the links for all these products will be below. And thank you guys and watch us on the next video.